Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A. This video is a continuation to my playlist leveled uh, digital ocean infrastructure. In my previous video, I tried to show you how you can uh, host a WordPress website using the CLI version. Uh, that was a bit complicated for certain set of people because you need to be aware of how to use CLI and those commands. So in this particular video, what I'll do is I'll show you how you can uh, use that one click application uh, Digital Ocean provides you and host your website plus set up your WordPress uh, portal in less than one minute. Uh, let's go to Digital Ocean. Uh, in case if you aren't, uh, don't have an account, you can just create a new account and uh, log into the portal. Okay, once you are here, uh, it will show you all the list of drafters that you have. In case if you don't have one, just go and click on the right hand side, create button, and then droplet. This will give you certain set of options that you can opt in for. Now click on one click apps, which is basically um, digital ocean configured certain set of droplets with this set of applications for you, or they will do that for you. For example, WordPress, you can opt in for MongoDB or the PHP uh, applications. So once you click or select one of these, right, uh, they will configure your droplet with that set of OS and um, your application that you are seeking. Let's select the one with WordPress installed and uh, select one of these droplets. They recommend 4GB but uh, for us we can go for 1GB and that's, uh, this is decent. Like um, all the performance everything is really good. Okay, now select one of the data center. Choose the one which is nearest to your uh, location because latency matters. They provide few other set of additional options. Uh, you, you like those are optionals in case if you want, you can go for it. Uh, backup would, might cost you. Now let's uh, name our droplet. Let's give it some what to do to it. Okay. Uh, this just a name for the droplet so that you as a user uh, knows which droplet is for what purpose okay. uh, once that's done it will customize all configure the droplet uh, with the options that you selected in the previous uh, screen and uh, basically set up everything for you this will probably take a minute or less and uh, you might have got a mail by now with uh, credentials to access your domain uh, droplet actually uh, that would give your root password if you try to access the IP uh, you won't be able to view the content because we need to change the password before you can actually use it so this will give us an error I prefer Tor browser for this sort of uh, developmental stuff that uh, uh, that's basically like it will reflect the content instantly um, like uh, let it be view host also anything related to the server based content that you might have changed recently okay it says you need to change the password to complete the installation process or else basically access using SSH command okay, you can do it using the web console that uh, digital ocean provides you or else you can go off with terminal or else put it. web console is a bit laggy and uh, one worst part is you can't paste it the content so i prefer using terminal because that's the easiest way to copy paste and get it running okay so open your mail the mail that you got from digital ocean with the password uh, using which you can access your droplet and you can verify with the ip address here you can't paste it okay uh, forget it Let's open terminal. Okay, uh, type in one second. Okay, uh, type in SSH uh, root for the, uh, the username at the rate and the IP. now you need to change the password that's why i said they ask you to change the password because uh, they expect you to change it uh, in the first attempt for your own security of course yeah, i entered the password as root and uh, yeah you basically need a longer one
okay so that says wordpress has been enabled so now what you can do is you can use the ip address okay so it will just refresh and it will take you to the setup page of installation select which server language you want and the site title basic set of uh, configurations don't forget to uh, save the copy the password because if, if, if you are uh, entering some custom password then it's good but if you are using one of the custom uh, like default generated password you need to enter it in the login page so either just paste it somewhere or just copy it for the time being okay now you can discourage our search engine to index your site in case if you want now login okay uh, this is to okay this is uh, the website that uh, normal user will see when they come to your website let's say silverfoxy.com or smartgeek.it and if, if you access this uh, form or here you get your admin dashboard uh, wordpress dashboard from here you can upload themes and basically do all sort of stuff this step uh, also takes care of php my admin and mysql so they install all those in your server hope you find the video informative enough please do subscribe my channel and like or share whichever you prefer the best thank you